used to be a really nice little spot to sit by beside the creek. This bunch of the stuff has come down around this tree that has been down for a really long time and is blocking my view. Creek. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Sun shining. In the forest by myself, I've got about an hour till the kids are done school, and I'm having a wonderful time. I hope you are having an awesome day, too. Get back inside today. Suck up some of that vitamin D. Check this out. It's my little spot over there. Old trees have been down here for a long time. The grapevines wrap right around it, but check this out. Big pile of poop with berries in it. And a bunch of old mushrooms there. And down here. Oh, oh man, I think I could work that for a month and not get it out, but I'm gonna keep trying. This is rose hip and hibiscus tea. I didn't put any sugar in. I don't know for anything. I like my herbal and wild teas unsweetened to start. And this one, I don't even need to add any sweetener to it. I've had it a few times now. But... Ah, it's so good. Whatever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you're having an awesome day. Don't forget your sugar. If you don't like your wild tea, just add a little sugar. Make it a little bit sweeter and then it doesn't really matter so much. Let's sit here, enjoy my little tiny hand sanitizer. Fancy piece stove, fire, and the sun. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, I hope you are having an awesome, awesome day. Two ways to keep warm in the woods. No fire, no tea, maybe a little something sweet. Alright, I got a new home for my blue GSI cup. I made a little cat can stove, fancy beast. A, uh, that is a windscreen for Kindle Mint Cakes. Thank you, Cousin David. 
then here I've got some alcohol and a clipper lighter and then on top of it I put a little folder cup and voila we have a tiny little brew kit in the uh, Kindle Mint Geek I kept some tea bags and some sugar and we've got a self-contained little brew kit here I love it two of my favorite things in the woods a little fire a little brew up well, that's my little kit for the day. I got my shemog tied onto an old little diaper bag over here. It fits inside of here just perfectly. A little clean canteen water bottle. And then my little cook kit that I made. My wallet goes on top of that. On top of that goes a Bushcraft Outfitters bandana. And that's that. On that side, on the other side, that's where I keep my tea, I keep my Kendall mint cake tin in there with the tea and sugar in it. That's the sugar in there right now. I gotta put it away. Spill it I just dropped. And then I've got some snacks in there as well. So, uh, some beef jerky and some fruit snacks and I forget what else in there. And then on this side there's some cordage and there's some tarps or sorry emergency blankets like a AMK, um, ugh, AMK SOL heat sheets in there, some paracords and bank line. And then on the outside over here, I've got a little folding knife and a fair rod and a big lighter and lip balm. And this is so small and so light, I don't mind carrying it at all. Look at that cute little cook kit right there. When it gets folded down, it is just that big. There's my foot to show you how big it is. Cup, stove, fuel, lighter tea, sugar, windscreen, stove. Love it. This old lady needs to carry less and less every time. That pack really does the trick, especially when I can make a nice cup of tea out in the woods. Cheers. Look at that sun up there. There it is, all packed up and ready to go. It's a perfect, perfect size for me. It's just basically hip size with a little emergency diaper bag. It is perfect for this. I am not, sorry, I'm not a haversack girl. I'm not a slings pack girl, but with this lighter load, this works great for me.